Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh. And today for our quantitative comparison lesson, we have geometry, but we have something a little bit different. Now I know, I'm always about focusing on the concept, not on the computation or an exact solution. But sometimes the test will throw something at you that can actually take quite a long time to actually get the answer right, unless you know the concept. And you don't always know the concept or know the pattern. Unless I tell you in this case, we have what? A cube. The cube has a side of one. That means all sides are one. It has point A over here. And then away on the other side, it has point B, basically the two farthest points in a cube. And they want to know which is greater. The diagonal, that word is supposed to be diagonal, the diagonal that of AB, so if I had to draw a line that goes way across into the other side of the cube, or root three. Now this is really cool. This doesn't come up that often, but when it does, when you see that cube and they want you to draw that diagonal line through there, you're gonna love this trick. Whatever this side is, in this case it's one, whatever the side is, times it by the square root of three. That's all you have to do. So if this was, for instance, side four, then we would know AB is four times the square root of three. Here though, it's just one. And one times the square root of three is simply the square root of three. So as soon as you see this problem, knowing this trick, you can go, oh, duh, those two are equal. And that's amazing. Why? What would the com computation and the solution path actually look like? Well, you would have to draw a line here on this bottom base part. You'd have to put one over here you'd have to solve by using root two to figure out that that's a 45, 45, 90, but I'm gonna stop right there because that's making your solution brain go, oh, I better pay attention because I'm gonna have to use this. No, on quantitative comparison, you don't have to use those types of things. And if it's a cube, you will always know that whatever the side is, x, to get this diagonal, it will always be x times the square root of three. And again, one times the square root of three in this case is the square root of three. And just like that, boom, we got answer choice C, the two are equal. So I hope you enjoyed that video and that super cool trick. And we got more like that actually. Check out the link in the description below and you will see our GRE math study tips. Lots of good stuff in there. And speaking of good stuff, check out the videos to your left if you want more of the same.